Geography is a dynamic subject with real world relevance. Here at Coldy, we study the AQA specification for geography. This means if you are being assessed in geography, you are doing three different exam papers. Paper one is a physical geography paper. This has a lot of your traditional geography. It includes rivers, coasts, hazards, earthquakes, volcanoes, and of course, the ever important climate change. Paper two is our human geography paper. It shows us understanding of the world around us, development levels, cities, and of course, resources and how we use those resources across the globe. And we have a third paper, which is skills-based. This is based upon a pre-release case study released in March and also field work that we do in year 11. We do two field work days in year 11. One is to a local urban environment and the other is to a river in North Wales. And we use the information from these days to build our knowledge and also build our skills for the exam. We also think and geography about developing our skills in a whole range of ways. Many students ask me about the idea of how is it assessed in geography at GCSE. It's assessed with questions from simple one mark multiple choice questions to nine mark essays. But we use photos, OS maps, uh, satellite images and diagrams as well to be assessed. Geography works really well with other humanities subjects like history, but also there's lots of crossovers with science too. But more important than anything else is if you're interested in GCSE geography, it's an interest in the world around you. If you're watching the news and you're interested in why something's happening, maybe geography is a subject for you.